All right, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about Terrence Bud Crawford and Floyd Mayweather Jr. Uh, uh, little Birdie tells me Floyd Mayweather Jr. wants to sign Terrence Crawford and that the belief is, is if he do, would do that, that he stands a chance, really honestly stands a chance to become one of the biggest, if not the biggest star in U.S. boxing. Pay attention to what happened to Gervonta Davis. Look closely at Terrence Crawford and let's talk about that in this video. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. Before I get into the subject matter of the video though, please make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, all that good old stuff. Help the channel join. Uh, before I, Also, before I get into the meat of this, I know that my Terrence Crawford fans, subscribers who are fans of Terrence Crawford, are going to be absolutely shocked by what I say in this video because I'm going to be giving this man a whole lot of credit and uh, talking about what he absolutely could do if he decides to sign with Floyd Mayweather Jr. Now, my sources tell me that Floyd Mayweather Jr., and I think it's pretty obvious because it's been in the news, Floyd has been talking about how Terrence Crawford is just a bit as good a fighter as Canelo Alvarez or a better fighter than Canelo Alvarez, been talking him up as his number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter for a while. But the belief behind the scenes, from my understanding, is that they think that they can make Terrence Crawford, and uh, if they were able to sign Terrence Crawford, that they can make Terrence Crawford one of the biggest stars in boxing. And at the first time I heard that, because, you know, I've been talking to my guy for a while about that, and I'm like, you know, I think you're right <laughs> at this point. Because what I saw last night that took place on a Sunday, after, on a Sunday evening with – Gervonta Tank Davis versus Isaac Cruz in L.A. tells me that Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Leonard Ellerbe specifically, not just the PBC, but that particular portion of that organization of the PBC knows boxing and knows how to create a, a big star um, I, pretty much from the ground up in in. Uh, in Gervonta Davis, but there is pretty much everything that you need with Terrence Crawford to do the exact same thing with Gervonta Davis, and there's really no reason why Terrence Crawford should not be able to duplicate and have the same level of success that Gervonta Davis is having in the lightweight division, with the exception being that, that, that um, Terrence Crawford actually has a few more things to his advantage that Gervonta Davis does not uh, does not have. And we will walk we'll walk through the logic of it, uh, you know, really fast. Um, first and foremost, Floyd Mayweather Jr., if you specifically let Leonard Ellerby, Floyd Mayweather Jr. is Leonard Ellerby. And there's also Al Heyman. Al Heyman and what Al Heyman is able to do in his management skill and all of that is already, you know, really, really well established. Um, but if you listen to a recent interview by Leonard Ellerby, where Leonard Ellerby is, man, absolutely lights off into uh, Eddie Hearn and says, you know, he says pretty much he would, if Eddie Hearn comes within 10 feet, two, 10, 10 feet of him, he's going to slap Eddie Hearn. Man, he has absolutely no respect for Eddie Hearn. And he talks about what Eddie Hearn has done to, De to Devin Haney's career. And it was just a, a, absolutely a great observation. And I think it's an observation that doesn't just apply to uh, Eddie Hearn, but I think it's an observation that would, would apply to MTK Global. It would apply to Bob Arum. And it would apply to pretty much anybody that does not really know the, the culture of the, of the main support and fan base of Terrence Crawford. So what Leonard Ellerby said was like, when he was talking about the Devin Haney fight, he's like, look, why in the world would this guy, Eddie Hearn, go into Las Vegas, schedule a fight in Las Vegas on the same night that you have a Martin Lawrence comedy show in Vegas? Any Everybody that I know, and this is Leonard Ellerby saying, that was in Vegas that that night was going to go to the Martin Lawrence comedy show because Martin Lawrence is a cultural icon and people have been waiting a very, very long time to see Martin Lawrence and see Martin Lawrence's comedy show. Now, people who are in the black community in the United States should already know what that is about. You're not going to, if Martin Lawrence or say somebody like Eddie Murphy or somebody like, uh, man, you know, somebody like that, some iconic comedian 
is putting on a show, you do not go up against them with a bo with a boxing match the same with the same evening because so many of the fans or the people that have the disposable money are going to go for the once in a lifetime opportunity to see Martin Lawrence in a comedy show, right? This is not something where you say oh, I'm going to catch the next comedy show. They're going to go to that comedy show, right? So what Leonard Ellerby talked about was how Eddie Hearn just doesn't understand the culture of of uh, the fan base that would support Devin Haney. And I think that that is the same thing that we've been talking about for a long time with Terrence Crawford and wondering why Terrence Crawford, who has everything that you need in a fighter, and he really does. If you look at Javante Davis, who, man, honestly, what he did in the state, I'm not going to talk about the pay-per-view numbers because honestly, we will never know those pay-per-view numbers. There are some people going to exaggerate them. Some people are going to try to cut it, cut it really, really low to make the to make it look bad. All I know with Javante Davis's pay-per-views is they keep doing them over and over and over again, so they must be happy about the numbers, and they keep doing these shows and selling out stadiums. Um, and he's pretty much doing the same thing that Terrence Crawford is doing. Get, being in a very, very exciting fighter, getting knockouts. They have just about the same personality. Neither one of these guys, neither one of them are, so, are, are anybody that I would say is an actually, you know, an eloquent fighter. You know, and, you know, not an eloquent, they're actually eloquent fighters, but they are, um, they're not eloquent speakers. They're not people that are just, that are overflowing with charisma, but what they do, but what, um, they do provide is they provide knockouts. So Terrence Crawford is not with Bob Arum in top rank anymore. He's going to go and be a promotional free agent. But I'm telling you, and my sources tell me, and I really do think of the world of this guy, I feel very, very blessed that I'm actually able to speak with him, you know, on a, on a down low type of basis. But it is what it is. You take what you can get. It was like, look, man, Terrence Crawford, if he goes over there with Floyd Mayweather Jr. and has Floyd Mayweather Jr. promoting him on a regular basis, is making appearances with Floyd Mayweather Jr., is getting Floyd Mayweather Jr. talking about him on a regular basis, you cap that, you, you combine that with the promotional access that Floyd Mayweather Jr. and these guys and have and the success that they have um, with actually putting on large pay-per-view shows, they're like Terrence Crawford is going to absolutely blow up. And here's the, the thing connected with that is the fact that with the PBC, there's so many good fights that they can make on a consistent basis that they that they will be able to make a significant profit off with Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford name will get out there and quiet is kept, you know, with the exception of Errol Spence Jr. And I'm telling you for the sake of this video, or I mean, I'll tell you all the time, Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence Jr. can definitely be built up to being the biggest uh, fight in boxing. And if Terrence Crawford is able to beat Errol Spence Jr., He's going to he's going to solidify the, the black American fan base and will immediately be one of the biggest names in boxing, because that's what people have not been. That's what Gervonta Davis is not going has not been able to do yet. You know, at this early point in his career, but it's something he probably doesn't really have access or the ability to do because there's not a lot of other people in his weight classes that he can fight. Unlike him, unlike what Gervonta Davis has going on, Terrence Crawford's got Errol Spence Jr. He's got Keith Thurman. He's got Danny Garcia. He's got Jamel. He's got Jamel. Uh, he's got Jamel Charlo. He's got multiple. If they want to do the flat-footed Hispanic fighter route with him, he's got plenty of those guys. Those like that he can knock off. But to do it with a with a promotional outfit that has shown that much success in putting on pay-per-views, you know, I think it's a pretty convincing type of thing. Now the problem is that Terrence Crawford is a stubborn guy, and I actually heard him say, well, I read a boxing scene article around the time of his last fight with Sean Porter that he was like taken back by the PBC and saying, look. You know, you guys wanted to um, blackball me before, not give me the fights that I wanted before. Why would I sign with you now? Well, you know, the answer to that is because when you're on the inside with them, they're not going to blackball you. They're going to put you in a situation where you can really be successful. And if you look at what Gervonta Davis has done with Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Mayweather Promotions, you look at what happened with Deontay Wilder in that portion of his career, in the latter portion of his career, you look at what's going on, you know, um, 
with Errol Spence Jr., right? Those guys know how to do this business and they know how to do it well. So, you know, I hope that if he gets that offer, if and when he gets that offer from Floyd Mayweather Jr. and those guys, that he would really seriously take it, uh, take it serious because that way, you know, we can see some real big mega fights and real big mega events because those guys are terrific at doing it. Anyway, that's what I, that's my belief. Uh, and what I think about the situation, you let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out.